Hey guys, so it's time for March favorites already. I'm so excited. Spring is finally here, just about. Yeah, spring's here. And um, I don't have that many favorites this month to show you, but for me, um, this month has been all about eyelashes, which I will start with. Um, just a side note, I am I think I have allergies for the first time in my entire life at 27. Um, or maybe it's just a bad cold, but either way, it's been... It's been fun. It's been a fun last couple of days. So if I sound off or my voice or whatever, um, I apologize. I just, I don't know. I feel like my head could bust open at any second. But anyway, lashes, lashes, lashes. I finally found like my holy grail pair of eyelashes. Um, I'm so glad that I talked about eyelash extensions in my video because for the most part, everybody kind of talked to me out of it. There were some pros and some cons, but for the most part, I had a lot of feedback stating that they've um, had lashes and they just, their lashes had never been the same. Um, it might be something to have fun and experiment with in the future, but I'm definitely not going to do it anytime soon, especially with my wedding around the corner. Um, so in the meantime, I've just been basically wearing false lashes every single day, except for today, go figure. But, um, I didn't want to put these on because I knew I was going to film this video later and I wanted to show you what they actually look like off my eyes, but they are the Ardell 120 Demi's. And I always get them in black. And you can see here they're shorter and then they get longer and fuller at the outside. And these are awesome. And I reuse these so many times. Um, I love these. I'm, I'm more of a person that enjoys longer or uh, fuller, more voluminous lashes versus really long and separated lashes. And for me, these just do the trick. They don't look t like totally obvious like you're wearing fake lashes. They just, to me, they just darken that lash line and just really make your eyes pop. Um, I get a lot of compliments when I wear these. One time I was actually doing a presentation for work and I got through the whole presentation and I I asked if there was any questions at the end and one of the nurses, um, she's like, yeah, what's up with your eyelashes? <laughs> like, it was so random. But anyway, um, I love these. I usually get them at Sally Beauty. I actually even went on eBay the other day to see if I could find like a bulk pack for cheaper since I wear them so much, so much because it started where I would just pick up lashes here and there and try to experiment and see which ones I like. But I've decided that I really like these. I do like the Ardell 305s, like half lashes, but these are the first full band lashes that I have found that I wear comfortably and that don't look totally crazy. And the inner lashes don't bother me, which is why I really don't, I never really enjoyed wearing the full band lashes before because that inner corner just always bothered me. But these are like the perfect fit and size for my eye. So I went on eBay and I got this four pack for I think like 10 or $15. I'll try to find the seller that I purchased them from and put it in the description box. But if you're like me and you have like a certain set of lashes that you just love, it can't hurt to just go on eBay and type them in and you might be able to find like a good deal. I think these ended up coming out to like $2.80 a pack and I had free shipping. So I stocked up on those. I'm definitely going to be wearing, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear those for my wedding or just a lot of individual short lashes towards the end, which is how my makeup artist did my lashes for my trial and I loved it, so I'm kind of just going to leave it up to her. With that being said, I have found a new lash glue, thanks to all of you. I had talked about how I really wasn't a big fan of the Lash Duo smell in my one video where I was talking about it, and a lot of people recommended the Revlon Precise Precision Lash Adhesive. Found this at CVS, and the great thing about it is it is a brush applicator. I love this for so many reasons. One, it does not have a nasty, fishy smell. And most importantly, the brush is so fine that you just take the lash and you kind of just paint it along the band so you get the perfect amount of glue. It doesn't get too goopy or, you know, fall onto the lash. It just coats the band evenly and perfectly and you can go back and add more to the ends if you need to and it's just perfect. I find that with the Lash Duo, you know, I've tried different techniques of applying it to the lash band and it just never comes out like perfectly even. It, I, I always do like either too much or too little. And, ugh. So anyway, this is my new best friend and I love this. And like I said, I found it at the drugstore. So there's been just one nail polish that stood out to me this month and it's definitely the nail polish that I've ever had the most comments about and it's by Revlon and it's their top speed in Royal number 730. There you go. Um, it is this gorgeous like Pacific blue and I think yeah there's like a true color of it a lot of people said it has a lot of purpley undertones but to me it's like a true dark 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 blue 
If you guys remember that one Express shirt that I got in one of my hauls, the silky one, it's like that color. Dead on. Like, exact color. Come here, Sparky! Tell everyone what you're barking at. What are you barking at outside, Smiles? Huh, Smiles? There's a full two smile right there, everybody. Where's my smiley boy? <laughs> What's outside? What's outside? What were you barking at? Did you see other doggies out there? Hmm? Jakers, say hi to everyone. Say hi. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Hi. Everybody's been asking about you. Say hello. Can you look right here for everyone? I wish you could see his little tails wagging. Be so happy. Say, I'm loving this warm weather. I get to play outside all day and stay outside. I love it. Huh. You want to go lay down? Hmm? I love you, bud. Go ahead. You can go back up on Mommy's bed. Go lay down. <laughs> I'm glad you got to come in and say hi. <laughs> and he's down. Okay. So anyway, um, it's just a super pretty color, and it's very, very eye-catching. It's um, definitely a color that pops, and um, I think it's pretty much a color anybody could wear, whether your skin is light or dark. Um, I think it's just it's so unique and fabulous, and I don't have anything like this in my collection. The best part about this is it's easily found at the drugstore. It's not part of any stupid limited edition collection where it's going to send you on a scavenger hunt. And I think it's right around 4 or $5, and you can usually get them on sale. So I love this color. This perfume totally stood out to me this month, and I'm not one to stick with a perfume all month long because I have so many, and I'm constantly trying to rotate them. But I wore this... Um, a couple days this month and then I just was obsessed with it and I just wore it all month long and it is by Hermes and it's the Unjardin Sur La Trois and I got this for my birthday it retails for about $90 a bottle this um, Sephora actually sells this which is great um, they don't sell all Hermes fragrances but this one they do and oh, I love the smell of this the crazy thing about this whole Hermes has a whole um, garden line of scents this is one of them um, Jardin sur la Trois means garden on the rooftop in French. They have like a whole collection of garden scents. And that whole collection is like a his or her um, type fragrance. So like men or women could wear it. But for me, like this just, I don't know if it's just because I love it so much, but I could not picture a male wearing this. It just to me smells way too feminine. But to each their own. I looked up some blogs and some reviews and a lot of the base notes of it is... Um, Apple, pear, magnolia, and rose with a dry down of green herbs. So hopefully that helps you. It's probably a better description of what I can give you. But I definitely, the next time you go into Sephora, I would check this out. Maybe ask for a sample. It's a really, really nice, clean fragrance. It's definitely, to me, more of a spring summery fragrance. I really didn't use this too often in the winter time, But I really like it. It's a, it's a very refreshing change, I feel like, from all the other perfumes that I've seem to wear over time. One eyeshadow to talk about this month and it is Max Floof. It is so gorgeous. I did a Battle of the Champagne um, eyeshadow video where I have this in there comparing it. But it's, um, I think I originally purchased it as a highlight but I've really just been using it all over my lid. I go a little bit up under my brow. You can even use it as a cheek highlight but I just, it's such a brightener, an eye brightener, and an eye opener, and I've just been really just using this on my eyelid, and maybe a little contour color in the crease, and a little bit under my brow, and that's it. Um, that was the eye makeup that I had on in my Missoni Jumper outfit of the day, which I had a lot of compliments and t tutorial requests for, which it's really simple. Literally, it's just what I did, and I just stuck soft brown in the crease, but I truly think it's like that floof color. It's just such a gorgeous gorgeous color and so really I've been going with really simple makeup this month and just using this pretty much every day and the last two products are just brushes and the first one I have to thank the makeup artist that did my makeup trial for my wedding because had it not be for her I would not have purchased this one and found a new use for this one so starting with the elf powder brush all of three dollars at your local target I have been using this all month long for blush and
And I used to have this brush, and I never used it. I originally purchased it as a foundation brush, and I hated it. I just, I'm very loyal to my Stigmax brushes for foundation. And so it just kind of sat in my collection and collected dust. And then my makeup artist, when she did my makeup, she actually used this brush to apply my blush. I don't know if I ever did try it, and I just didn't like it I don't know but I have been loving it the perfect thing about this brush is it doesn't pick up too much color so it helps you to really build up those blushes if you want to but it's also a really great brush to use with your really really pigmented blushes that are really vibrant and have a lot of pigmentation that you need a light hand with this is the perfect brush for that it is pretty dense but it's not dense like a kabuki brush would be um, so it just puts on like the perfect amount of color it's incredibly soft and I just I love that I found a new use for this and I've totally been using this all month long for blush application so that's great and the other brush is the Sigma large powder f20 brush and the funny thing about this brush I used to use this constantly for powder or contour and bronzer and um, my makeup artist, um, when the girl did my makeup for the wedding, she took this MAC brush, and it's long time discontinued. It was one of the one, like the little kabuki brushes in the kabuki line. It was the black handle with white goat hair. I think it might have even been like the 186 or something, um, like a body buffer brush or something. It was kind of like this dense, and it was, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, she used that at the end when she was all done with my makeup to just like smooth everything out. And she used this on my mom and I both. And we both were like, oh my gosh, that, that brush feels amazing on your my skin. It feels like a treatment or something. And it just kind of like flawlessly blended everything. And it felt really nice. And I just thought, oh, if I only I could get my hands on that brush which I know I never will unless it turns up at a CCL. So I looked through my hundreds of brushes to see if I had anything remotely close that I could kind of use the same, have a brush to use the same technique with, and I picked up this one. And I love it for that. I no longer use this for powder. I use it strictly when I'm all done with my makeup to just kind of smooth over everything, like just a once-over, and I just use the side to just like blend everything and smooth everything out, blend it together, and it does feel really good. Like I've always, you know, blended and gone really quick over my face with the bristle part. I've never actually just used the side to do anything. And for that, I love it. So if you are somebody that does makeup on others or um, needs like a good blending brush for your kit, I would pick this brush up because it's so nice and your clients will absolutely love it on their face. It's totally great because I have a lot of powder brushes. And um, it's nice to always find more than one use for a brush. So I love this for blending and for just kind of finishing your makeup. So great. So that is it for my March favorites. I feel like this video is not long enough for to be one of mine. But I'm sure I'll, this will make a lot of you guys very happy. I hope that March treated you well. And here's to an even better April. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.